there's some liberal up there cutting down fence. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining. Uh, today's episode, we're going to do something a little bit different, not something that's on the air. Uh, it's antennas on the air. I've always wanted to do an episode of Will It Antenna. So up behind me in this mountain here, um, geez, at least 40 years ago, they took a fence down. But they just piled kind of piles of fencing and pieces of it are all over the place. Um, so I've been bringing it down and uh, out of the forest because deer and elk and everything else, you know, cut up their feet and everything. So before you call the sheriff and say, hey, there's some liberal up there cutting down fence. No, this stuff has been laying on the ground for a long time. So, um, we're going to build a uh, 20 meter dipole and see if this thing will tenna. Antenna. So, let's get cracking. Right, I guess Ray's going to help me here. Um, first thing, here's a small bit of the, the uh, barbed wire fence that uh, I brought down. So, I'm going to unreel this and cut two 16 and a half foot sections uh, for the legs and maybe make them just a little bit more. So, and uh, then uh, we'll hook them up to a one-to-one -one ballon I had uh, in my kit. I brought a whole bunch of stuff with me when I came up to my summer home. So um, play with different things here. So uh, then we'll hook it up to that and throw a tuner on it, get it tuned up, and then uh, hook it up to the radio. Don't know if we're going to be able to get all that done today. Might have some more thunderstorm come through. And uh, putting wire up on a big pole uh, with me around and lightning striking just isn't, it's not my idea of fun. <laughs> more like sheer terror. All right. So, Ray, you want to build an antenna? Yeah, she's like, yeah. Wags your tail, that means yes. Step two is take your gloves off so you can tear your hands up. And I'm going to try to clean off this end here. This stuff's pretty rusty, been laying out. Like I said, this stuff has to have been out there for like 40 years, um, just laying all over the place. So we'll get it cleaned off, and I'll put a bunch of flux on it and see if I can't um, get us some decent something to solder to. I'm going to solder a couple of wires on here because uh, putting this directly on the um, uh, ballon is just not going to, it's not a good idea because this, those pins are not strong enough. And this stuff is a huge pain in the butt to work with. So hopefully there's two wires here. I could, you know, if I wanted to, I could take this thing apart. And basically, I'd have my two wires, one that has barbs on it and the one that doesn't. <laughs> I really don't want to do that. I'm just A, too lazy, and it just invites more headache. So, hopefully, I get enough of this off, and then we'll, uh, I'll wrap the wire in there and do that. So, I'm going to clean off both these ends here, and we'll get cracking. This stuff... You really want to be wearing gloves, but goofing around with this stuff. You thought that MFJ copper cladded wire was springy. This stuff is horrible. So I'm going to basically put this through here and then we'll solder it on. And I'm going to wrap it around there so we get a good connection.
Now, just for fun, let's make sure that we have some kind of continuity between this end wire and somewhere else on this stupid thing. So I'll put that there. And if I can put this anywhere, yeah. Okay. So that's the solder uh, welds are good. Um, I figured a soldering gun on that much wire would, I'd be goofing around forever. So, hey, why not get the uh, torch out and just uh, go at it big time? Because, you know, who doesn't like a lot of fire? <laughs> All right, let's go. let's go on to step two, which is, this stuff is super springy. It's a big pain in the butt to work with. It's going to cut you all up. Now the big challenge is going to be trying to get it up on a mast hooked up to this stinking balance. So I'm going to use some zip ties and uh, connect that all up. So I've got my um, zip ties here. Those are my insulators. I got my uh, conductors coming off here. So uh, now all I got to do is connect them up to this ballon from LDG. A uh, little one-to-one -one ballon and um, then zip tie this on. It's uh, definitely rink-a-dink and temporary and that kind of is the whole point. So just one tip uh, as we go along here I'll add. You shouldn't do this around small kids or kids that you don't want to learn bad language because there's a lot of that flying around as you poke yourself on this barbed wire. It's so much fun. Okay let's get going. All right, so um, two problems. One is we got another thunderstorm just moved in and it started to rain, so I'm not gonna goof around with that right now. Um, number two is I need to figure out a different uh, support. Because with this springy, heavy wire, it's not gonna be able to hold that up. So I'm gonna come up with maybe a wooden beam or I don't know, I'm gonna rig something up but it's gonna to have to be tomorrow because I think we're done here. This is the uh, setup. This is gonna be a little bit stronger pole. A little goofy, but uh, it's a 20 foot section of a uh, pipe. May have been used for the well back here, but been laying up here for years. So a little twisted and stuff, but uh, that'll get us up in the air. So let's see if we can get it up. We've got a weather window here, short one. And uh, let's see if we can tune this guy. So, all right. What do you think, Ray? Should we tune it? So we're way too long. And what I'm doing is I'm taking it and folding it back. And I've got about, oh, about a foot and a half here. And I'm bringing back. What do you think, Brent? Looks good from where I'm at. My neighbor came over here and helped me because he was doubled over laughing over there and figured, well, He'd save his stomach muscles for another one. I was trying to be subtle. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take this up and get another reading. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but I've gone to plan C here, which is the Arbor's line, which, and then I've got our tune 327, 14.327. Let's, what's the latest scan indicate? I'm right at about 14.023. Um, it stays at 1.5 or below up to 14.207. So I might shorten just a little bit. We're almost there and we're going to get on the air. Got my gear out here. So we're going to short, uh, lengthen it or shorten it one more time and then we're good to go. Okay, it's jumped up to 14.295, but we can run uh, sideband easily, so let's get on the air. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ on the 20 meter band. Kilo Yankee 4, Tango Golf. Uh, Kilo Yankee 4, Tango Golf, uh, QSL? QSL. Roger, Roger, I got you 5757 five, here in Arizona. Right on the New Mexico border, uh, where are you located? I'm in South Central Kentucky. I uh, don't know if you're familiar with that area, but I'm about 15 miles east of Bowling Green, where they make the Corvettes at. 
<laughs> QSL, QSL. Well, thanks for the contact. I got you almost 5'9 now um, going into a barbed wire N20 uh, uh, dipole. Yeah, roger that. So, well, I've got you 5'9. Uh, and, and I've <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, well, it sounded really good. And I'm just goofing around trying to figure out if I can make an antenna out of barbed wire. And uh, it looks like I can. Yeah, you're definitely uh, doing well <laughs> with it. Uh, it's getting out really good for you. QSL, QSL. Looks like we got a little bit of QSB in there. But uh, other than that, great signal. Thanks, uh, thanks for helping me test out today. Okay, I got a station in there, station in there, just in my noise, uh, just in my noise. Go again. Yeah, Josh, I think that's you. I can't quite pull you out, buddy. All righty, November Uniform 7 Hotel. Thanks for helping me test, man. I appreciate it. All righty, 73, man. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ for a new antenna test. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Any station, anywhere. QSL, QSL. Um, I've got you at about a 5555, five, 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 over... Alrighty, thanks for the 5-5 five five into Westfield, uh, Indiana, QSL. Alrighty, man. Well, thanks for the contact, and thanks for helping me test this barbed wire antenna. Echo 4, Tango Golf. Alpha Echo 4, Tango Golf. Alpha Echo 4, uh, Tango Golf, QSL. QSL, uh, you're testing your antenna. It's doing fine down in Tennessee. You're peaking 10 over 9. Roger, Roger, 10 over 9 in uh, Tennessee. Uh, you you got about a 5.8, five 5.8 eight, five eight here, over. Yeah, I'll take a 5.8. Hey, did I understand you saying you're, you put up a new long wire antenna, over? Uh, negative. I'm uh, goofing around with a barbed wire antenna, over. Oh, okay. I'm just curious. All I heard was wire antenna. I thought you said <laughs> long wire, over. Yeah, QSL, QSL. I'm doing a little video here on uh, you can make an antenna out of anything, and it turns out you really can. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I got you 5.8. I'm going into a Yesu uh, FT891. Over. Uh, QSL. Well, it's getting the job done. Uh, you know, why change something that's working? Yeah, QSL, QSL. Well, you know, it's you get a little bit of wire and you can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's, and obviously you can make antennas out of barbed wire. Yeah, I can't see. Uh, can I get your call sign again, please? I get to get the last two, two letters over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. It's November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, over. QSL, QSL. Kilo 4, Mike Whiskey Whiskey. Is this Mike? Yes, sir. Mike in Stone Mountain, Georgia. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, uh, Mike. I appreciate you helping me test this goofy antenna. I wanted to see if I could make a, a dipole out of antenna out of, a, out of some barbed wire. And uh, it seems to be working for me. Oh, yeah. Is this Christian, I guess? The name is Christian. QSL, QSL. Yeah, the name here is Christian. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Thanks for the signal report. I uh, five nine there. I got you about a five eight, five eight. Uh, Victor Echo three. Uh, go again. Yeah, Victor Echo three, Tango Hotel Romeo. Yeah, 
Yeah, QSL, QSL, Tom. I uh, appreciate the contact. I got you at about a 5-7 here, 5-7, five, 5-7. Seven, five, seven. Yeah, I'm running in, uh, loading this thing up with a FT-891 going into a barbed wire antenna. Beautiful. Beat me to it. I was going to do that for field day. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just goofing around here making a video and, and uh, doing a, you know, I wanted to get in on the, with the cool kids on uh, Willet Antenna. QSL, QSL, well, thanks for the uh, signal we 55 into Ontario, Canada, and uh, I'll let you go. Thanks a lot, Tom. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Roger, roger, 7 3, uh, 3 Tango Hotel, Romeo. CQ, 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 this is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, uh, testing a new antenna here in Arizona, uh, rising to New Mexico border. Okay, Kilo Oscar 4 station, go again. Okay, I got a Kilo Oscar 4 India X-ray, and I didn't get the last one. Okay, QSL, QSL, I got a Kilo Oscar 4 India X-ray uniform. Uh, thanks a lot for giving me a, a call there, Trevor. I got you 5757. Okay, it looks like I got eight contacts. Uh, Tennessee, uh, Georgia, Mississippi, uh, Canada, uh, Washington, uh, to name a few. So uh, got some great contacts. Uh, it's late in the afternoon here. Uh, let's see, it's... Uh, Currently uh, 2453 Zulu, so um, people probably having lunch Easter here or dinner. But anyway, pretty cool. Um, I'm happy to get this thing working uh, finally. And uh, yeah, it's got it up there in that tree. It's probably hard to see, but I've got it going through the LDG, going through the uh, LDG one to one uh, balun there. Okay, so here's the big question. I got eight contacts. Uh, uh, it was fun building. Well, kind of fun. So, um, <laughs> dog's jumping up on me. You'll go for a walk in a minute. So, what I recommend building a barbed wire antenna. Well, if you got to really MacGyver it and um, you don't mind getting cut to shreds on barbed wire, um, then yeah, go for it. It's extremely frustrating experience. Um, I will say that. It took me two days to do because I was dodging thunderstorms. So, was, I get about... I don't know, halfway down and the thunderstorm would move in, so I had to pack up everything. And of course, as soon as I get inside, it would it would clear up. Um, it was funny today. I thought, you know, I should go outside and see if I can get that thing in a tree instead of that stupid pole. No kidding, 60 seconds later, there was a crack of thunder or about a lightning strike about a quarter mile away, and then it was pouring. I'm talking hail and everything else. So somebody didn't want me to build an antenna today. But we got it done, and um, yeah, it's fun experimenting. Um, it worked, obviously worked pretty well. I'm guessing uh, if I was on a mountaintop, with, uh, uh, I'd do even better. So you can uh, bring your clippers with you and uh, Arbor's line, and you can string up a barbed wire antenna in an emergency. Now, don't take any fence down. You're going to make some ranchers and the Forest Service extremely unhappy. But... Um, uh, if you find some laying on the ground and it's about, I don't know, 15 feet aside, you might be able to do it. Um, I'm going to measure this and i will put it right down here, what I ended up with each leg. I, I cut it like 16 and a half feet, then I went a little bit longer, and then I ended up folding a lot of it back on itself, um, which continued to tear me up into shreds. So uh, anyway, there you go. There's your barbed wire antenna. And can you make an antenna out of barbed wire? The answer is yes. Thank you.